Welcome to Crazy Town's 10 Minutes or Less. I'm Jonas. And I'm TNT Dynamite. And uh, I'm Explosive One, and we're starting timer. Boom. TNT. Yo. So, you and I have been using the internet for a long time. Yo. You know? So, I feel like we're pretty tenured in internet, like, savviness. Like, to quickly identify, like, what's a scam? What isn't a scam? You know? Yeah. But, we were all novice at, at some point. Mm-hmm. So, when you were younger... And inexperienced on the internet, have you ever fell for any sort of scam online or an email or a site or a thing? Or have you ever been scammed in general outside of the internet? Have you ever fell for a scam in any way? Not, nothing too bad. I would say that, you know, we've all definitely downloaded some malware. And uh, <laughs> I've probably had my, I've had my identity stolen before. Oh, really? Yeah. Um, I remember one year, I was probably about... Um, I won't say, well, it was probably about 23, 24 or something. Yeah, which is the age you do dumb stuff sometimes. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, and I remember going to the bank and I was actually going to buy my mother a Christmas present. It was around Christmas time. Okay. And I was, <laughs> it sounds so sad too. But, yeah, I, go right? to, but <laughs> I go to the bank and uh, all of my money is gone. All of your money? Oh. All okay. of the money was gone from my account. So okay. naturally. Like they closed it or just emptied it? They emptied it. Okay. So naturally I go to uh, the bank tell her and i'm like you know there's a problem here and she's like oh i, I don't know what you mean she was like uh, i need you and it was like i need to see a print up of all the transactions that have happened a bunch of stuff on like the itunes music store okay. a bunch of gift cards bought like just, so they got your card number and just yeah. and so they didn't like just take the money they just spent all the money on stuff yeah okay, so gotcha. but i'm still not sure if i'm not sure if they got that through something i did on the internet or if it was like one of those readers that happened but that's probably happened oh to yeah me. like the gas station where they put a reader over top of the, the swiper mm-hmm. or whatever but that's probably happened to me twice where i've had uh money stolen from my account okay not i've lately. actually been really lucky i've had the same debit card number since 2004 Jesus, and I've never had it taken or used fraudulently <clears throat> and it's really nice because I have it memorized so like I don't have to like mem- I, ha- I can just but how, I've had the same one forever how do you keep the same card because usually if I have to get a if I get a new one like when it expires they give you they no, they, a new one they give you the same number with a new expiration and new three digit code I've never had them yeah the, the only time number. I've been forced to change my credit card number was like when I was married I added my ex-wife as a user on my account like she wasn't like on the she wasn't like responsible but she could use my card and when I called said hey I got divorced I'm taking her off they're like whenever we whenever an authorized user is take, taken off we reset the number no that makes what. sense though, so I'm like yeah that's fine um but yeah all my bank cards the numbers always stayed the same i have called and said hey i had a charge i didn't recognize then they're like we're gonna change your number but i guess just that particular account i've gotten lucky um no i think what i like i think uh back in the day when early internet early online dating sites you got caught up no they would uh they would have those things where they'd be like oh but back before now now they're all free and you can pay for features back in the day you would only get so many free messages and you would you could sign up mm, to like do whatever yeah. and i remember being like you they used it was and i knew and once it happened once i knew it was a scam but they'd be like oh you have five unread messages and if you pay for the membership then you can read unlimited then you this so like i remember I was like, oh, well, I'll just guess I'll just pay for the membership. And it was all just like bots that had sent yeah. messages. And I was like, this is effing bull crap, dude. Okay, like, okay. like, so I'm like okay. that. Technically, they scam me out of a month of a dating site. But this is this is like when dating yeah. like ev- everybody uses online dating now. But back in like early 2000s, mid 2000s, it was not so common to use dating yeah. sites. So yeah. they that's how they would get people to scam them through that. Like yeah. I fell for that for sure. Okay. Then I, you know, now that you mentioned something like that, I definitely have fallen for that. Play this sexy porn game. <laughs> right. <laughs> and it was you're like, like, well, I want to play a sexy porn game. Yeah. And I, I vaguely remember, <laughs> I vaguely remember this one time. I don't remember if it, if it was a dating site or what it was, but it was like, it was like a profile had it was like it was like i remember clicking on a link and going to a profile and it was like this person had sent you a message or something and then you had to sign up for the site and it was even it might even been one of those ones where you just you're like you just need to validate with a credit card and it's free or it's like a dollar and then but the the trick is you forget and then it starts charging you thirty dollars a month or whatever that's how they get you but I remember I was like oh here's a profile it look everything looked legit I signed up for the site the site was exactly the same but the profile they sent me said that supposedly messaged me or whatever that profile did not exist on the site 
So it was like a wow. fake profile to entice people to sign up. Literally completely Tom. fraudulent profile. Literally Tom. Yeah, <laughs> Tom. You're right. And it was just stuff like that. But then now it's like now I've gotten older, dude, and I just I can like yeah, I've I yeah. haven't done anything like that in forever, dude. I, I know it, it takes so much for me to enter my credit card information into a site that I don't trust. Yeah, dude. It really like, does. It's just I just know that with the internet, it's I mean, this is a it's a good rule of thumb in your life to be like if it sounds too good to be true, it is, it isn't. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. like anymore, it's like, no, man, some hot chick ain't messaging you out of the blue. They'll just like, hey, I want to talk. Nope. No. <laughs> if anybody needs like why are there so many singles in my area? Oh, here's here's the thing, and I was actually really good at sniffing this one out. A friend of mine recently on their college forum. Mm-hmm. Uh, for their master's program, somebody posted a thing about dog sitting. Like, hey, I'm looking for somebody to dog sit my dogs. My, they're moving into town, and they reached out to the person. And they're like, oh, well, I reached out because, yeah, it would be nice. Because they were offering, I don't even, it was a lot of money to watch these dogs. Hmm. Like, I don't remember the exact amount, but it was like something like $500 a week to come oh. a couple days a week and watch their dogs and take their dogs out because they were pregnant. And they, they wanted sex. Well, anyways, so <laughs> they didn't want sex. So I was like, Okay, I was like, they're like, I reached out and they got back to me and they said they'd be interested in me, you know, interested in uh, in doing it. And I was like, okay. And then it, it immediately, like, they weren't asking them for any money, but they wanted, like, they disregarded that my friend was like, well, hey, let's talk through the details of this. Mm-hmm. And they were just like, oh, well, what I'm going to do is I'm going to send you a check. Uh, I'm going to send you money so you can go get some supplies and da, 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 da up front, you know, for for the dogs before when we get into town and da, da, da. And I'm like, so th- you ask to talk to them. They don't know who you are. They're going to send you money. Yeah. I go, next thing they're going to say is they want you, the, the check's going to come and it's going to be for like $5,000 and they're going to want you to set, send it back to them. It's the whole scam check. We're like, oh, well, hey, I send you $5,000. You keep 1000 send me the four back and then they, the, it's a bad check and then you're on the hook for all five k. Yeah. And like, and uh, even like their parents, I was like, talk to your parents about what do they think? I, I go, to me, it sounds super fishy. Yeah. And they're like, well, they're not asking you for your details. They just want to mail you a check through FedEx or whatever, you know. To mail show you, you a check is the weirdest we're thing. We're right, you know, or what I need. It didn't say a check. But anyways, I said, what uh, I would do is I would come back at them and say, I'm down. But I, I, I was like, I would feel more comfortable if we spoke because you could get a feel for me, I, I could figure out exactly what you're looking for because I was like, it's weird. That they immediately want to send you money without even hashing out exact details of what you're doing. Yeah, it is a little weird. And the person, they replied back a, a second time after they wanted their address and just said, Hey, I'm down. Let's just talk video chat, anything. I want to like, make sure I can do what you need me to do. They never messaged him back again. Mm. And I was like, I knew it, dude. My, my sent my spidey senses for a scam is like, is yep. any more, dude? I'm like, oh, I'm in. 100% you have to send me send me the money first. Go right ahead. And then I'm going to let the check pass. <laughs> and then right. Once it passes, then I'll send you something. Right, back. exactly. Well, yeah, because even though there's no harm, no foul, even if you take the money to the bank and they give you 5K, yeah, just hold that 5K. Mm-hmm. Because how do they know that you're not just going to take the 5K and never talk to them again? You're supposed to get their dogs, exactly. bowls, and dishes. Just, like it's it's Yeah, they're putting way too much trust in the, in the relationship. Into a stranger. Me. Yeah. That you've never spoke to and you've told them twice. Yeah, yeah let's talk about this. And they're like, yeah. oh, no, here's yeah. 5000 yeah. Here's some money. <laughs> on a much smaller basis, uh, I did find an Xbox controller online for $24. Uh-huh. And I was like, oh, my God, I have to jump in on that. Yeah. So I was like, hmm, I've never heard of this, this seller. <laughs> Guess I'll give it a shot, though. Put my information in. It seemed, everything seemed legit. Get an email the next day. Oh, we're sorry. Uh, we're actually out of this product. And... Uh, out of this product in all colors but we're sorry no charges have taken place check my account no charges right but now all of a sudden i seem to be getting a lot of emails from places who want to sell uh, me stuff oh so they just stole your information they stole to, my to information they stole i, my I had information. one time uh i when, fell for it <clears throat> when red dead redemption came out the first one mm-hmm. for xbox 360 it was a not long after it came out and th- this is why i was still using ebay anymore ebay is just full of, I, i've had more problems with ebay in the last 10 years than i ever had like mm-hmm. people just not sending items like yeah, yeah. so i've just stopped using ebay altogether but and some guy was selling a copy of Red Dead and it was it had been on a couple weeks and it was it was it was cheap but it wasn't like 
so it wasn't like they were selling it for 20 bucks a week after it came out, but it was a discounted a little bit. And I was like, I was like, oh, I'll, I'll buy this. Um, I wish I could stop this timer from going. Uh, and what ended up happening is I came and it, it looked all legit, but it the disc was just fake. Oh, fake this. He and put like, bricks and, in the but, box. And they were like, oh, you can send it back and get a refund. Dude lived in China. I'm like, I'm not mailing this back to China. I just ate it, dude. That was how much was it? It was like it was like 30 or 40 bucks or oh, something he like got that. You for that thirty dollars. Yeah, American. exactly. I was, and now I think that was the last time I was scammed. Because usually on eBay they're pretty good about protection. And I could have got the money if I wanted to like invest in retent, sending it back to China. Yeah, yeah. I was like, it's more trouble than it's worth, dude. I'll take that. I'll take this as a, le- a lesson. So, anyways. That's all the time we have for today's episode. Please make sure to go to thecrazytown.com and subscribe. Let, uh, let us know how you were uh, how you were scammed in the comments. For Jonas, TNT, uh, we're out.